Hey, evening, everybody. This is Sports Mag News. I'm Joe Boric. As always, if you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom at the beginning or at the end on that Easy Professor Joe widget at the end of the video. This is going to be a reaction to our Phillies. Again, not going to be able to make the playoffs. Not officially yet after losing yesterday, but they're going to need a miracle of all miracles. If they lose tonight, it will be officially. So, as I have this MLB playoff hat on, I'm ready to say throw that away. They, of course, it doesn't matter if it's official yet or not are not going anywhere this year when it comes to the postseason. So now the Phillies just need to set their tides to not losing the rest of their four games so they can actually have a winning season. Right now they're 81-77, and 77, so obviously if they lose out, they're going to just be 500 again, and they're not going to have a winning season again for the first time since 2011. So at least now... The focus is on building blocks, on at least having that winning season. Obviously, that doesn't feel like any soul is when we were actually in the division race for the first time since 2011 going, oh, well, at least we have a winning se season, excuse me. But that, do that doesn't really give us any reprieve. But at least it's something to more build on, especially when Aaron Nola sucked this year. Other than last night, he actually pitched a good enough game, but the damn offense just couldn't score again. Nola did good enough last night. Alvarado did pitiful, but he pitched a good enough game. The offense just has been stalled ever since Sunday. They haven't been able to do zilch before then. They weren't that consistent, but at least able to get enough to get it done at times, where since Sunday they've been absolutely obsolete at the worst time of the season. It's absolutely embarrassing to be like that when you're in a division race. There's no excuse for that whatsoever. I mean, JT talked about it a couple of weeks ago. You have to play through stuff at this point. Everybody is, and uh, the Phillies are not doing a good job at doing it. So now they have to set their sights on just having a winning season for the first time since 2011 because they ain't going anywhere in the playoff, as the Braves are the team now in the NL East that is going to win this division and go into the playoff. And um, that's unfortunate just in the fact that the Phillies had so many chances this year, other than just at the end of the season, actually have somebody stabilize the end of the uh, bullpen quicker and move Hector out of that spot quicker and then maybe trade for somebody quicker. That, that That's all hindsight's twenty twenty. But you have 34 blown saves, so that's huge. Your defense still sucks when that's something you wanted to improve on. So that was a huge thing that affected, and your offense is woefully inconsistent. So I think, obviously, now, though, you at least have stuff to pinpoint to. You obviously have to get a money closer in the offseason, whether it's the trade market or not. I know on Facebook I got into some stuff with Sir Anthony Dominguez being a closer or not, where, yes, he could be the future closer, but there's no shot in hell the Phillies can rely on him. 100% being ready to close next year because that's the mistake they've fallen into in the past. Always relying on Hector, who seems like he would be better in a different spot, or always relying on the younger guys, whether it's in the rotation or the bullpen, and not getting more guys that have a reputation to actually be successful. Like how the Padres got Melanson. They ain't going anywhere, but at least he had a good season. So, like, you pick up those guys, that's very helpful as well. You can pick up some guys like that, or you can get the money closer that you just know is going to be consistent. There's different guys like that. Like, even if we picked up an Inglacius this year who ended up going to the Angels, that could have been very helpful for the Phillies as well, but they didn't make those moves. But at least they know what they got to do going into the damn offseason, which is get the closer, get another bat in that lineup. You have Matt Veerling, who seems like he's establishing himself to make the opening day roster, so that's nice. You got some guys that seem like they could develop as bench bats and Williams and Maton, and then you got to figure out Alec Bohm, of course. That's a big thing. You got to get another bottom end of the rotation piece and not the Chase Anderson level or Matt Moore levels, like an actual solidified four or five starter to go with Gibson, Nola, and Wheeler there. And then you obviously also want to add, since Archie Bradley, I think you're going to let walk another guy to replace him in the bullpen that's a veteran that is not just a closer, so a closer, a reliever, somebody in that lineup. And then, of course, another starter. So you have more pinpointed stuff, at least this year, where last year still, I thought. With the team, there was just so much going wrong that you couldn't even pinpoint four, five, six, seven things that you wanted to fix. Where at least this year you can do that, but that's still not soulless when the Phillies should have won the division. But um, I'm off my soapbox now on that, um, as I'll probably get more into that in our season and review video that I do after the season is officially over on Sunday. But let's just get into now talking about winding out the season and trying to get a winning record, which is obviously not easy um, to do, to talk about. It should be easy to do for the Phillies. All you have to do is win one damn more game. But um, it's not easy to talk about after we were in the division and the Phillies just embarrassed themselves, not giving themselves a chance offensively. Pitching-wise, they honestly, other than the 6 nothing game, they did good enough in this series. They just couldn't score enough. So Kyle Gibson goes tonight at 10-8, and eight, a 360 RA. This is a guy that you want to 
still be able to watch to see how interesting he pitches if he keeps pitching fairly well and kind of rebounding since he hasn't been as consistent here, of course, as he was in Texas, like I said in one of my prior videos, because we have him for next year. So you want to keep seeing him do successful things, help us get to that winning record, and hopefully he's able to salvage this series and we don't get swept by the Braves going up against Ian Anderson tonight. The lineups for tonight is still going to be um, Odubel Herrera leading off, Gene Segura batting second, Harper batting third, Real Muto batting fourth, Miller batting fifth, McCutcheon batting sixth, DD batting seventh, Torre is batting eighth at third base, and then Gibson batting ninth. I still find it interesting, even though he doesn't hit them consistently, but you want to get him more playing time, especially now that you're out of it. Um, I, I find it interesting Matt Veerling's not in the lineup more, honestly. But it is what it is. I also thought yesterday's lineup was kind of a mediocre lineup put out there to go up against a lefty. But it is what it is, and uh, they didn't get it done. The Phillies line, or excuse me, the Braves lineup tonight is Jorge Soler leading off, Freddie Freeman batting second, Albies batting third, Riley fourth, Duvall fifth, Rosario sixth, Day no former prospect of the Phillies seventh, Dansby Swanson eighth, and Ian Anderson ninth. Of course, so of course the Phillies, if they want to salvage the series, they're just going to need to keep pitching realistically, like they did the first couple games starter wise. They just need to score some damn runs. I mean, that's really it. You just need to score runs and get some runs on the board if you want to salvage the series and guarantee you're at least going to have that winning season for the first time since 2011. And it would be kind of nice to guarantee that at least salvaging the series against the Braves so they don't officially clinch the division against you. So it would be nice to do that at least. Hopefully the Phillies can at least do that for us fans because they haven't really done, of course, other than maybe get us a winning season much to be very happy and joyous about at the end of this season. They really embarrassed themselves when it came to trying to compete in that division race when the Braves were a good team, of course, but had so many injuries, had to really did a very good job at the deadline, but were still sputtering at the end that this division was nothing special and the Phillies still couldn't make it up. But this has been a preview to Game 3 of the series as well as just a reaction to the really the season overall at this point on our Philadelphia Phillies. I hope you all enjoyed the video. This has been Sportsman News. I'm Joe Board. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the content and share the content out there with your followers as well. We appreciate the support. Peace out, everybody, and hopefully the damn Phillies can salvage this series tonight.